Hi, my name is Alan with Earth Glow Inc. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I make ceramic candle vessels. Let's get right into it. Materials that you'll need for this project include distilled water, your mold, um, these are purchased from Amazon, and some sort of colorant if you wish to color your vessel. Um, you're also gonna need some sort of a cup to stir your concrete mix and some sort of a stirring tool. Um, these are purchased from the Home Depot and this was purchased from my grocery store. Last but not least, the star ingredient. Um, the mix that I'm using is from the Home Depot. This is called Cement All. It's very inexpensive and it works very effectively for this project. So to get started, I'm gonna take my measuring tool and I don't actually measure this very precisely um, because it can depend on humidity as well, I've found. Um, but I usually will take about one cup of my Cement All mix and I'll pour that right into my solar cup here. Sometimes you will spill a little bit like I do. The next step is to take your distilled water and you're gonna just start pouring that in very gradually. And you're gonna have to play around with this a little bit. It's not a precise measurement that I personally use because I find that humidity can affect um, the amount of water that I would use. Um, so I'm just starting to stir this here and my concrete is becoming this wonderful sort of soupy consistency. Now I'm going to continue stirring this mixture until all the clumps have dissolved. This can take several minutes. I'm going to also add in some of my colorant. You can add as much or as little as you'd like. And you just want to stir that in as well. And my mixture here is becoming more of a pancake-like consistency. And this is typically about the consistency that I like to work with. And uh, the final step is to pour this into your mold. And usually as I'm doing this, I will kind of tap the mold so that I can facilitate the mixture, um, reaching all the points within the mold. And um, continue doing that until all the air bubbles come out. And sometimes that can take about a minute or so, quite a bit of tapping. And I kind of do the tapping as I'm pouring the mix into the mold. And that is it. So you just want to continue tapping probably for about a minute, but pretty much until you stop seeing those bubbles coming up to the surface. Um, and then you will let this sit for overnight, so about eight to 10 hours, and um, then we'll demold it. Thank you for watching today's video. If this video is helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe uh, for more videos like this in the future. And I will be doing another video on how to unmold these with a little bit more ease. Um, sometimes the Amazon molds can get stuck. Um, so I'll show you a little trick you can do uh, to create more ease unmolding these. Thank you for watching.